Bunny. Yes. The Oscars went. The Oscars have come and gone. I it know. I nice. totally missed it. It was so cool. Like it was not until the next day when I started hearing news about uh, Frances McDermott, God bless her soul, that I was like, the Oscars were on. <laughs> Yeah, it was the 90th annual Academy Awards, and I was going to watch it, but um, there was an emergency in the family, and the emergency being I had just downloaded all of 30 Rock. Ah. And I'm sorry, uh, Hollywood system, but Kenneth Parcells from Stone Kenneth Parcell from Stone Mountain, Georgia, trumps your self-centered award ceremony. <laughs> And that's trumped as in cards and not our racist idiot president. Right. Interesting side note. I would totally go see this presidency as a Judd Apatow, Jason Siegel film, our racist idiot president. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Seth Rogen is like a fat Mike Pence. I yeah. hate gays. <laughs> like I would see that. Why is Stormy Daniels even a thing? I don't understand that. Is that a surprise? See, see, like uh, when it comes to Stormy Daniels, it, it's one of those things. Like with Bill Clinton, I don't give a fuck. This is not really important. This is not fucking Puerto Rico still still does not have electricity this is not important you still there agreed no oh. <laughs> yeah no i'm still here I'm still here i was just agreeing with you and trying to get maxwell to be quieter with his uh duplos trump the duplo trump is a disgusting pig we know this <laughs> you, you yes. know i mean you're not telling us anything new here I'm really, I know it's a long shot, but I'm really crossing my fingers that Melania divorces him while he's president. That would be fun, yeah. Yeah, that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> that would be, I'm crossing my fingers for that. So anyway, I really was going to watch the Oscars, but then a few days before the ceremony, word got out that a number of Academy members had already ruled out the film get out having not even seen it really yeah that people that people were like oh well this is just a b movie it's a horror film and we we can't take those seriously anymore because we got to be serious and and people hadn't even seen get out but they're like no no this this does not have a chance so I was, wow. I was a bit upset about See, that. It's, okay. it's like, well, business as usual for the fucking Academy. And it's upsetting, too, because the Oscars are literally going, uh, Get Out isn't serious enough. We are a serious. The Oscars are serious business. We don't just give Academy Awards to anyone. The Oscars are serious. Now, if you will excuse me, we need to give this Academy Award to the film about fucking a fish. Yes. I'm sorry, I, Get Out, but you're a horror film. We have a bit more self-respect than that. Now, if you'll excuse me, we're going to give this statue to the film about fucking a blue marlin. I I actually feel kind of happy about That's this upset. news. I do, I because I was like, okay, well, um, Get Out's going to win, and I'm going to be angry about that. Because I don't know if that's really the best movie or if it's if it's like, oh, it's been a couple of years. We have to give black people another Oscar, you know, uh, yeah. like Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain sucks. You know, like uh, like here's a slave winning best picture. And yeah. then afterwards, it leaked that a number of people who voted for 12 years a slave didn't even watch 12 years a slave. Yeah, but they voted for it. Felt oh well, we have to vote for this. So I kind of feel like like now that Get Out was blown off by the the Academy, and in what sounds like classic, beautiful fashion, I can respect that movie now. Now I really want to see it. Yeah. 
Well, it's, it's good, earned that's my res- doing next week. It's earned my respect by not winning an Oscar. What? Get out. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I thought we were talking about the fish fucking movie. We're doing the fish fucking movie next week. <laughs> we're doing the fish fucking movie. Okay. Yeah, we're doing that next week. So check the cough cough. Uh, that's I, I, what we're doing next week. I'm down. I was raised on chicken of the sea. A little fish sex is fucking hot. Nice. Yeah. So, so then, so then I also didn't watch the Oscars because, like Seth, Ro- uh, uh, James Franco, he was up for best actor in the uh, in the Golden Globes, and they said, "Oh, well, this is 100 percent gonna be." the winner, and then he won, but then there were sexual harassment allegations, and so he wasn't nominated for an Oscar, but it's like, but wait, you just said he was the best actor, and now you're pretending that he doesn't exist because allegations have surfaced, and and it's like, I, 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 there's something about that that just upsets me, like, oh, so yeah. he suddenly did a bad job? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, and, and- like, you said he did you said he did the best job, and now because allegations surfaced, you're pretending he doesn't exist. There's something about that that upsets me. Well, for me, how I see it, it's kind of like Hollywood is just as racist and misogynistic and money grubbing as any other corporation. Okay. Yeah. Now, from there, they pretend they put out the face of being very liberal, and they're not. Yeah. So yeah, so so we can. Are you still there? I I'm still here. Are you hearing me? Have you lost me? Yes. You've lost me? No, I got you. <laughs> Okay. No, I got you. Okay. Where was I? I was building up. I was building up so well. Sorry. Sorry, I fucked it all up. Uh... So they'll give the Oscars to movies that really are not the best movie. But like it, 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 it'll make some people happy or something like that. Yes, like Twelve Years a Slave and Brokeback Mountain, and it, it doesn't have anything to do with the best movie anymore. But we will yell and scream if if uh, Roman Polanski can't come over for his Oscar. Yeah, James James Franco said some bad things. Roman Polanski raped a 13-year-old girl. Yeah. There's a yeah, there's a there's a bit of a difference there. And and and, and considering that difference, the wrong ones being punished. Yeah. So, and then Ryan Seacrest like there's there's allegations about Ryan Seacrest, but then E! Entertainment Television, yeah. they still let him do the red carpet yeah. leading up to the Oscars. And number one, I didn't even think that E! still existed. <laughs> and, you know, because I haven't, I haven't heard of, I haven't heard of E! since freaking, uh, I haven't heard of E! since I think, uh, 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 what's big breasted Playboy model? I didn't think E exists. I haven't heard of E since Anna Nicole Smith was alive. Okay. Okay. God, I used to watch. She that had show a reality too. show there. Yeah, with Howard Stern. Yeah. What, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, she she was. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Howard Stern, like that was the last time I thought that E existed like literally a month ago I was like is E still around and no one could give me an answer because like <laughs> I don't fucking know if e, e is still around I don't have cable I don't you never hear of E 
entertainment television anymore. But they still let him on the air, and that was that 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 also kind of pissed me off. Yeah. So I don't know. It, it's just a popularity contest, and I'm a bit over it. You know. Mm-hmm. Just a bit. I'm I'm over the Oscars at this second. And, and, except for except for is except for Frances McDormand. I'm sorry. She she's it, she's just one of those person who's yeah, deserved yeah. an Oscar for fucking years. And as far as I'm concerned, she can kick Meryl Streep's ass any day of the week. Uh, yeah, I love Frances McDormand. Mm-hmm. Mc, McDormand. McDormand, yeah, I love her. So. Even, even in Dark Money. Man, where she just played the chick. Oh, oh, Dark Man! I forgot she was in Dark Man. God, yeah. I love Dark Man so much. Hey, can I make a Batman movie? No, you can't make a Batman movie. Fine, I'm then I'm gonna make my own Batman. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically, basically the creation of Dark Man. Loved that growing up. Yeah, love that freaking movie. Uh, Bunny. While we're still on the subject, let's talk movies. Okay. Uh, Black Panther. Yeah. Is still destroying both box office numbers and the fragile egos of white people yeah. who <laughs> think that all Panthers matter. <laughs> so what are what are pre- white people saying i a, a lot of things but there's a brand new movie that just that was just released in theaters that looks poised to take over black panther's box office reign uh-huh what is this so let me, so let me explain this morning I was driving to our massive The Pope on Film headquarters in beautiful, sunny, nowhere, Oklahoma, where each week we tape our podcast in front of a live narcoleptic studio audience. Yes. It's important to mention that they're narcoleptic, so you actually can't hear them while we're recording. Yes. So I I was on my way to our headquarters, and on the way to the headquarters, I pass by one of our town's three really shitty movie theaters. Oh. Uh, hold on, let me plug this thing in. There you go. Okay, now it's plugged in. All right. Uh, and there was a movie that they were promoting on the marquee, and uh, it, it kind of took me back. Yeah. Uh, it kind of took me back because I had never, I didn't, I had never heard of this film before, you know. And I'm like, oh, I, I did not realize that this film was coming out. Uh, this, but, but, oh man, this film that they were promoting on the marquee of the theater, this film is going to be huge, because this movie combines two different types of film that people are really into right now. Family friendly fair, yeah, and gritty, gory revenge fantasy. Uh, I'm talking about the new film Peter Rabbit Death Wish. Oh, that's Peter Rabbit dot dot Death Wish. That sounds that sounds awesome. That sounds like just a, a childhood fantasy come true. Yeah, finally, Eli Roth is is finally uh, directing Beatrix Potter's work. <laughs> yes. so that's always been a, a dream of mine. Hopefully after this, Eli Roth can do a torture per porn version of Curious George. Yeah. <laughs> which, I think, which I think is what Curious George rightfully deserves, you know? He is finally. Cur- he is curious, you know. I mean, so it would seem it would seem natural to me that at some point he may uh, be curious about what it would be like to jam a red hot poker into your eye. Yeah. So so bunny. Yeah. Do I still have you? I'm still here. 
because I can't hear you right now. You can't hear me. Uh oh. Oh, now I can hear you. Now I can hear you. Okay. okay. There's just a bit of a lag between when I talk and when I hear you respond. Oh, yeah. It's always a pain in the ass. Yeah, probably because, you know, I'm in a, a hot tub in Douglas, Arizona, and you're in the mountains of Saskatchewan. So there's a time difference, you know? True. Very like true. Like when, uh, when you see like a live broadcast on television. <laughs> yeah. Is 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 what it seems like. 